Hey guys, today's an exciting day. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start working on Gary's 912. We're gonna start disassembling it. I just wanted to show you um, first, I got the, you've got it up on a lift. I wanna show you a few things that we came up across and we gotta address. Uh, anyhow, so I'm gonna show you that. First, I had a shirt made. I kind of think it's cool. I like uh, Run DMC. What do you think? Let me know what you think. Uh, should I get some done and send them out? I, I'm all into that. All right, so um, let me take the camera and let me uh, walk you through what I what we see. Okay, cool. All right, well, uh, we've got the, we're gonna pull the motor out, put it up on a stand and trans. Uh, as you can see, we showed it, the video earlier had it, and I don't understand, but somebody decided to kind of paint everything a weird color. Uh, of course, we're gonna do it all original. Um, so we got that to address. And uh, just kind of gonna go over real quick. We got the wheels off. It had washers on every stud on the car, which obviously they wanted to make the wheels stick out a little better. I've seen this actually quite a few times. I myself like to use a spacer better. Um, anyways, that's just what's on here. Let's look behind, underneath here where the steel, where the uh, backside of the door striker areas looks pretty good. Yeah, okay, No, not, not rust. Uh, there's the other part of it. It does have new brake lines. Somebody went through and did brake lines. Um, let's go through here. Uh, we did find, I, I feel these fenders were all replaced. Sorry about the low lighting, but I think all these fenders were replaced. I know they were replaced and uh, they've got no undercoating on. Also the bumper, I'll take you to the other side and show you that. Brake calipers, original, all this stuff's original. Again, more stack of washers. And the uh, trim, it's got the stainless caps, which is really cool. Uh, these are actually rivets originally. They've got screws on there. Um, not uncommon to see on these cars. Again, these rubbers were wrong. Um, they drilled these out, unfortunately, put holes and uh, we're gonna have to get uh, new bumperettes, uh, new lenses, of course. Um, there's the other side, the other inner, inner fender well there. I'll go over the motor in a second, another stack of these guys. Uh, here, you can see the inner fender has no undercoating and it's got some fiberglass work on the back side, but you, they, they put all the wiring tubes are all in there. This side doesn't have a horn. Uh, originally would have had a horn. Um, bogey, struts, and in here, you can see the bolts are kind of kind of in and kind of not in. So anyhow, so that's that's kind of what that, but the front bumper, Front bumper is clean, no, you know, it's really clean. So I think the front, they actually changed uh, probably the whole front clip on this is my guess. But what I wanted to show you is this side is actually pretty, pretty nice uh, under the torsion bar area. The other side is the one that we have issues with. And let me, let me grab my stool here. Factory muffler, right? Okay. And you can see here, here's your trans. Uh, underneath the seat, the seat buckets are really nice. Nothing there. Really clean seat bucket there, no rust. Uh, under the torsion areas, really clean. Original floors. Here is the issue I was having right here. You got a rust hole right there, see that? Right under the torsion bar area there. That and there. So we're gonna pick all that undercoating off, which is original. So you you know that somebody didn't try to gob it up to hide it. Um, so we'll have to address that. Um, I think that's gonna have to be a piece that's made and rolled 
in there to be properly done. So that will be addressed. The floors, the jack plate, the jack hook there's nice. All oh, this is good, man. This is a really a really a good car, like we started to say when we started their first video. You can see all the uh, heaters. The heater cables are all hooked up like they're supposed to be. It's actually really cool. This has the 911 style trans mount, which I I think has been changed out from the original 912 one with the uh, square blocks. This is a lot nicer, a lot more stable, better shifting. That's, that's We would have done that even if it had the early ones. So, well, that has it already, so that's good. You can see it's got a new brake line there. Okay. So this is just kind of an, a preview of before we actually tear it all down. We've got original muffler. It's uh, pretty old, but it's still the original style. Okay, and uh, somebody painted the valve covers, which, uh, you know, that's what it is. So any, anyhow, so I just wanted to, I just wanted to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like before we start. Um, we're gonna be starting uh, here today. I'm gonna start tearing it apart. I'm gonna lower the car and start taking door frames off. Everything's going to the Cromer. Um, so. Let's start and I'll do some videos as we're going along. Very good, all right, cool. All right guys, uh, we're, uh, so far we're turned down pretty good. Uh, it was a long night and let me go over where we're at now, okay? Uh, check this out. So all our bumpers are off, everything is cool. These were, it was repainted and there's actually, uh, it was repainted and the strip stripes were left on. So there's a big thick paint there. Bottom sides of these guys are really nice as you can see. Um, this panel does have some Bondo in it and I am going to replace that just because they're, they're cheap and they work. Uh, so that will get new. And the other bumper is the exhaust, uh, the a little grittier than the other one, um, but still in really, really good shape. Uh, deck lid, the chrome window frames will all get torn down. As you can see, this is the one with the wedge, the uh, early, early wedge there. The glass, both, both door glasses are really in good shape. That was pretty cool. Um, the bumper, we'll disassemble that today. Uh, the strikers. Original, those are all going to go get cat plated. There's, that's all the hardware collected so far. The sway bar, uh, all this is going to get done in silver and gold. E, yeah, this is a cool one. The defroster tubes here, check this out. They were plugged with, uh, I guess it'd be a champagne cap on both of them. That was kind of interesting. Um, door handles are really, actually really nice, but... We're gonna we're gonna rechrome them because everything else is getting rechromed, and sometimes if you don't do everything, they'll stand out. So those will get done. Um, I just save all the seals for the heck of it. Here's the the uh, rain rain tray. Both both uh, window regulators are are no good. There you can see that pivot is broken and the springs are gone. So this was done. They were, they were just kind of in there loose like this. Um, they, the springs weren't even in the doors. So that's, uh, that tells you somebody was in there and they just kind of deleted those springs there. So those will have to get, and those are the early ones. If you notice the screw pattern is, is closer than the later ones. So um, anyhow, so there's your box of, of lights. All the lights are actually really, really nice. The chrome is decent. But we're gonna disassemble those, get them chrome because there's some there's some pits right there as you can see. Um, so that's gonna get done. Of course, the visors are are pretty much just uh, dust inside. Headlights for two different ones. We went over that wrong mirror. Um, this package tray was a kind of a custom nightmare thing. 
Um, it was super high. All that for a couple of those crazy sound system speakers right there. Uh, so obviously that's not going back in. I'm going to have to find the crossbar that goes over the top of the original rear windows. Good. Um, fortunately, windshield will actually be replaced. So onto the car. Um, very few surprises. Uh, the, you know, below the windows where they're always rusted out here is nice. Uh, the light boxes are very nice, very decent, both sides. No, no surprises on the back. It doesn't show that, uh, you know, that it was hit. So that's, that's a good find. Uh, quarter windows, under the quarter windows, no rust. Pretty, be pretty decent there. The doors, the original Bahama yellow color. Um, this one has rust right here, and it's not rust, it's kind of missing <laughs> from the rust, actually. So I don't know, um, I might be able to get that piece cut and welded in there. It's not going to be exposed because of the chrome strip here, but um, it is going to be a weak point. So it will it will stress crack here eventually. So we want to we want to fix that. And this is the original door. Um, I didn't even look for the VIN number. I can't see. I don't see it right here. It's probably in there when we clean it up. But that's that. Um, this is what was under the mirror. Rubber seal. Like I said, the whole car was painted with without removing anything. Uh, at one time. The dash, the corners here are really cool. Very lucky there. Oh, there goes the hood. Anyways, very lucky there. Um, so we'll remove that. If you can look at that dash, the condition of that dash, amazing for the age there. But it does have heavy paint. That's one of the things that uh, is going to be something that has to all come off. And uh, to me, I don't think we're going to have um, an issue with bondo it doesn't seem like it just doesn't seem like it's going to be full of it so we'll see but like i said i believe the front clip uh on this car was changed out and i'm talking the both fenders and the hood <clears throat> there's no undercoating on anything it's super clean and super nice um as you can see that and the the Fuel tank is new. Uh, sending unit was new, so they, they did that work on it. The wiring is kind of really, it's really ugly to me. I love wiring. I love when it's perfect and color is great. So I'm going to remove all that, and when I put it all back together, we'll clean it or find it. I have a lot of wiring that's much better shape than that, so probably replace all of that stuff. Um, you can see... We talked about the uh, non-adjustable struts, which is really cool uh, for these early cars. Um, the battery, the battery pan, the crossbar was actually, it was just laid in there and screwed in, as you can see right there. So it was just laid in there and just screwed in. So we're gonna take all that apart and weld it in like it's supposed to be. Uh, so we'll we'll remove the fuel tank today and go through all that. This uh, this is that pinch pinch rail for the front bumper seal. It's actually it's not bad. The the actual edge of this is really nice all the way across. So that's gonna we're gonna save that. Um, there's a little bit of, there's some rust inside, you know, on this glue edge from the water that sits there. The four screw. Fenders are actually really decent, but like I said, I, I, I really feel these had been replaced because the boxes are, are nice. I mean, look at the headlight buckets. Yeah, they're both, they're both. So both fenders, hood, all replaced. And like I said, when you go inside and look at them from the inside, there's no undercoating on any of it. So I, I my guess this was done a long time ago because I can't even imagine trying to buy four screw fenders now. Um, I myself don't know if there are available uh, anyways. Um, 
So when they did that goofy package tray, I'm really glad they didn't cut these guys off. A lot of times they'll cut these off. I do have some of these that have been cut off. Um, so this has not been, these were not damaged and that's where the crossbar sits on. Uh, so we, the crossbar wasn't there. So we gotta, we gotta get that. Uh, this door, no, no, uh, no rust issues on this one. Um, you know, just, just heavy paint everywhere. Um, the glue on the seal, no rust. You can see here, you usually rusted right here. There isn't any rust. These screws here came right out, uh, fortunately. So it, we, it's a good, this is a good car to do what we're doing. Um, today we're going to, uh, pull the motor and, uh, finish tearing it down. You got to pull the dashboard out, get all the gauges out. I'm going to put a, uh, a, I call it a roller steering wheel. Uh, we're looking for a wood steering wheel for this car now. Um, as you can see, <laughs> the interior lights, actually, that one's working. That's kind of fun. So we've got to disconnect the battery now. New level today of just trying to finish. You can see the cove here is really actually nice. These threads are good. They're loose, which is really kind of rare on these other cars no rust here so yeah we're 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 uh we're looking good we're looking real good uh no no sh you know no uh sign of damage down in the in the body here so yeah we're uh we're just we'll just carry on today i just wanted to share this where we're at All right, so we're gonna dig into it today. I am gonna uh, start now, and then uh, I should have most of it out. I I'll, I know I'll have the motor trans out. Uh, the fuel tank's got to come out, um, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, we'll catch you in a second. All right, guys. So good morning. Um, well. We're all wrapped up here. My garage looks like a uh, Porsche swap meet, uh, but it's not, everything's gonna go back. So uh, there's only a few things that are gonna go for sale, but uh, that'll be at a later time. Um, it was a late night and uh, I'm gonna, uh, oh, 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 look at that. Isn't that cool? About 18 years ago. A anyhow, so let me go over the car. A few little surprises again, there always is. Uh, we had to cut a lot of wiring out. Um, Let's check it out. All right. So again, as we did video yesterday, the bumper, we went over all the parts. Um, here's all our chroming. This is all got to get done. These here get polished. It's the uh, the, the seals, the carpet seals. Um, we'll tear down the doors. These guys will get polished, stainless steel. Um, we went over that, gas cap. Chrome, chrome on the grills, door handles come, come apart. This is all our cab plating. This is all the silver box. Um, so that's all the silver box. Here is the box of parts. Um, I'll have to show you the radio cut out. There's the steering column. Um, the ignition switch. Wiring on all that stuff's pretty, uh, actually really, really nice. One of the plugs got a little hot and got melted together, but we were able to get that apart pretty clean. The fiberglass strip tray is, is cool. Um, this guy, will, we'll have to uh, clean this up. These are actually really neat pieces when they're cleaned up. It's kind of a, made up of a pressed Bakelite. The, the wiper motor is very clean, very nice. Wiring was all intact, great. Um, I just wanted to show you the, the butcher job on the radio cutout. Look at that, look at that beautiful piece. Look at that. Can you imagine the guy cutting this thing out and just going, oh man, this is so cool. This is gonna look great when the radio's in there. Oh my Lord. Oh well, anyways, um, can I just tell you what else is in here? Everything is in here. You know, the, the fuse cover, we, we, we clean that up. If it doesn't clean up, I've got a bunch of those laying around. Um, let's go and do the, did that, this toolkit. Not really the right toolkit, jacks of VW. Um, the the uh, lug wrench is good. 
the fan lug is good. This was all, this was just uh, hidden in the smuggler's box. That's kind of a cool surprise for Gary. Um, just a lot of wiring that was unnecessary. A speaker, dash speaker, engine mounts are really a mess. They're just really wiped out. They probably original is the way I look at it. Um, so that's that part of it. The uh, motor and trans. We can go over that. Uh, seems to be the correct year, around the right year. So we don't have a COA. Um, we'll have to figure that out. It, uh, I got a friend that can get it. So um, the uh, magical colors on the motor, I have no idea why or whatever, but that'll get all corrected. Um, sheet metal. And, and something kind of cool is uh, most of these cars, you don't see this. That is a, the rear, rear uh, tinware, the rear pan there, those are support brackets, which are factory. And you, you don't see those very often, and they're still intact, which is kind of kind of cool, actually. So anyhow, um, one, one carburetor looked like it was replaced because it is in far better condition looking-wise, anyways. <clears throat> it looks like it was replace just the one side. That's kind of weird. You usually do things in two and it was just blowing a lot of oil. As you can see, there's oil on everything. It was a real dirty mess. The uh, transmission, uh, when I drove the car, transmission seemed fine, but I think we're gonna open it up and do synchros uh, anyways, just because it's all out. It obviously needs a reseal. I talked about the updated um, mount there. That's that's a nice thing to have. We talked about that. Um, the fuel lines are, you know, the the correct fuel lines. All this is it's pretty it's pretty dang correct, honestly. It's got an electronic pickup uh, distributor in there. Um, we're gonna ditch that. I'll put a one two three in this one also, and <clears throat> just everything is just kind of the way it's supposed to be. I'll uh, I'll go over the car. I want to show you something up front here though. <clears throat> there's the dashboard with the four holes okay now I had a few guys saying man maybe the it was ordered with a clock uh there was a clock in it um i felt that it was not and that it was added on later on they did a nice job on cutting the hole out but it's not the original uh location this was a three gauge car and that's what it's going to come back as so we're going to fill that and i'll show you the back side of that right now um, here's the front compartment, and we talked about <clears throat> about the pan, the pan just being screwed in there, and yeah, it's just laid in there, actually a couple rivets, but it's just laid in there, and as you can see, it's already started to rust there, so I think what I'm going to do is, since I have to weld that in there correctly, I'm going to go ahead and replace that piece, put a fresh one in there, and <clears throat> wiring... Actually, the wiring was, was, was pretty, it's pretty nice. Um, there's really no cut and splices anywhere, so that's gonna stay original, which is nice. Um, there's the location where all the wires come through the dash. Let me raise this up. I wanna show you the dashboard. Sometimes these things creak. Kind of sounds scary, but it's not. Okay, so I want to show you the back side of the dash. We'll leave it right there. Okay, back side of the dash. You can see the back side of the gauges. Now, the original gauges that are in there, you can see the metal is rolled. On those three gauges, the metal's rolled. And on the clock, it's not rolled, it's actually cut and has very sharp edges. So that's, you know, obviously it was cut in later on, but I just I just uh, was really certain that this was only a three car, three uh, gauge car. So we're gonna go ahead and f fill that hole, take it back to a three gauge. So so now there's a clock that we're not gonna have, we're, we don't need, so. That rail that was rusted out after getting the seal out and the vent cover, you can see it, it is pretty rusted out. So that's gotta get addressed. Um, 
what else can I tell you up front here? Other than that, <clears throat> let's go back to the dash. <clears throat> I wanted to show you the dash. So the feel, the feel boot was rock hard. That's out. That's all good. Oh, uh, let me show you something else here. I want to show you um, on the dashboard, actually. Let's run this down. So on the dashboard is the original color and uh, the original color is Bahama yellow. And I found a uh, VIN number stamped in the body, which I've never seen. Oh, we're almost there. Uh, okay. <clears throat> I've never seen a VIN number stamped here. Maybe some of you guys have. I've never noticed one. But there's a VIN number stamped right there on this car. And then uh, I polished up the paint a little bit to show the actual color, which is was actually Bahama yellow. See that? Oh, there, there it is right there. Yeah. So that was kind of a cool find. Um, oh, here's a good way you can see the dash. See, see the, there's a lip around those gauges and then this one is just a straight on cut. So there you go. Anyway, so that'll, we'll have to cut a piece that round size, put it in there, weld it and all that. That's gonna be exciting. <laughs> there's your front edge got a little surface rust nothing serious uh, original VIN plate right there and then the location oh, of course it's in the sun but the uh, VIN number the original VIN number is right there okay good um, just kind of it might be really exciting for guys to look at this video and see everything's just torn apart it was a long night, believe me, it was a long night. So, um, <clears throat> the dash, look at the radio cutout. You can see that was just, just demolished. So I am going to, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure how we're gonna do that because we're gonna put an original radio in here. Um, let me close this door so we can actually see. Watch. <clears throat> the dash <clears throat> so that's the cutout on a dash that was butchered out by some wonderful uh radio shop maybe a uh, homeowner i don't know it, it's ugly so we got to fix that um steering column and all that came right out really easily i say easily but if you don't know where the pin is and um the right bolts to remove it's it can be a little a little dicey to do but anyways <clears throat> so at least you get the idea of uh, what the dash looks like with nothing on it. Okay, all right, so. The dashboard, actually the dashboard underneath was very nice. Look, look at that. That's the bottom of the dash, which is the metal got a little, you know, a little surface rust here and there, but nothing serious. And it's gonna be a nice piece to restore. It was actually done before at one time, I thought my might have been original because the holes, these holes here look pretty good. And there's not, I don't know of any upholstery shop that can really duplicate that without it looking like kind of a mess. It's hard to do that because each one of those holes are punched by hand. That's pretty difficult to do. So that, that, that out looks pretty good. So any European air cleaners, we're gonna ditch those. I'm gonna run the wire mesh air cleaners originals that's supposed to be in his car. It's not a European car. <clears throat> so how those ended up on there, who knows? So the <clears throat> back, you can see the tray underneath is very nice, not rusted out. Even the holes where the duct where the where the defroster tubes go through is pretty nice. So that, that's a good thing. Um, but we gotta pull the the uh, cool blue regulator out and wiring. Um, I think of what else we can go over here. <clears throat> we kind of went over everything before, but now, like I said, now it's just completely apart. So it's kind of kind of cool to see this way. So I'll just kind of walk over it. The top is in really nice condition. The painter will like that. Okay, here's the gauges. Gauges are actually the gauges are really clean. Look how nice that is. Pretty 
pretty nice. These are going to go out to Palo Alto. Uh, my buddy Hartman will fix these up. Um, he'll go over those. And, you know, it's all 12 volt, not like a 356 where it's 6 volt and you got to convert it. So that's that's good. So this is where we're at right now. Uh, this will be my closing video on the teardown. Um, we're going to, uh, you know, wrap it up here. We're going <clears> to <throat> I'm going to trailer it out to Northridge. Uh, my buddy Miguel at Moises Auto Body is going to do the paintwork on it. Um, he's done some cars for me for years now, and his uh, paintwork is pretty amazing. And you guys will really uh, you'll get a kick out of how nice his uh, job comes out when he's wrapped up here. Um, I can't think of anything else to talk about. The motor, we'll do a video on the motor teardown. Uh, it was running, not much power, and obviously leaking oil everywhere. I've got another motor that we're doing. The powder coating is all done. Uh, it's all done over at Alec, he's got it. Um, so we're gonna go pick that up for the next motor. And then now the next thing we're doing is building the 3.8. So uh, that's gonna be another good video. So in between there, today is Thursday and Friday and Saturday, I'm gonna uh, do a few things, but I need to get back. I need to get out in the water. The water is really nice right now. Not warm temperature, but it's glass out there. So we need to spend some time in the water too. So anyways, I will, uh, you know, you you guys like this going along. Uh, the next stage, I'll show pictures at the body shop. Um, then we're gonna do the interior shop and then it'll come back and we'll rip the suspension out of it and do that. Uh, that's kind of where we're at. So anyhow, thanks for watching. Subscribe, I'd like to get more subscribers um, if, if I can. And uh, um, hit your likes. Hope you like this video and we'll continue on. And I made this about as short as I can do it. I didn't show anything coming apart because you know this thing turns into, this is a really long three days. So um, there you go. All right, you guys, have a good one.